Hi, glad to see you're still with us. We're still in module two, and this is the third section, and this is where we're gonna go through the My Company overview very quickly. When we actually went in and set up our company file, we went through the Easy Step interview. And one of the first things it asked us was to put in the company name and address and the FIN number and stuff like that. And I had told you that you could change that at any point. So I wanted to show you where you go to change that if your company moved or any of that information changed. So what you're going to do is on your menu bar at the top, you're going to click on Company. And then you'll see the option that says My Company. And here's where you see anything you'd already entered in that Easy Step interview related to your company. So you can see the information about your QuickBooks. You can also see over here the information about your company. Now, if you wanted to change this information, you could just scroll over to the right, and at the top right, you'll see a little pencil. And when you click on that, it takes you into the company information. Now, notice that we're on this first tab on the left, and this is all the information we put in about the company. So I can edit this and put in any information I'd like. So we're going to say the company has moved, and let's say now they're in Minneapolis, and we'll say they're in Minnesota, and we're going to go ahead and say their new zip code is this. And of course, I can go down and edit any of the other information I'd like. Now, if I go over to the legal information on the left, I'm going to need to change that city and state again. It doesn't update it automatically for me. So we'll go ahead and put in Minneapolis, and we'll say this is Minnesota. So we'll have to drop down the list here and pick that from the list. And we've got the zip code, and that is correct. Now, you have a company identification tab on the left as well, and this is where if you did want to put in the FIN number or you need to change it, you could do that right here. The next tab is the report information. So it had asked us in the Easy Step interview, what is the first month of your fiscal year? And if you wanted to change that, you could right here. And the other thing it asked us was, how was our company organized? Were you an S Corp, uh, LLC, that sort of thing? So if you had picked one of those choices and you wanted to now change it to other or none or vice versa, this is where you could come to do that. Now the last tab on the left is your payroll tax form ID. And this is where you can put in the contact information for the person who's preparing or signing your payroll tax forms. And that's so that if QuickBooks automatically does them for you, it can put that person's contact information on those forms. Now, one other thing to notice is that you can attach a file to this if you'd like. So if you had some outside file that you'd either scanned in or maybe an Excel file, you'd be able to attach those here and get to them a little more easily. So that's pretty much how that works. I'm just going to click OK here. And the next thing we'll do is go over to the fourth section, and then we'll actually go through the screen itself and get you familiar with all those icons and what everything does over there. So I'll see you over in section four. Hi everyone, Simon here from Simon Says It. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and leave a few comments. And if this is your first time here, I'd love for you to subscribe. Every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, new videos are uploaded to our YouTube channel. So go ahead and click on the subscribe button right now. I'll see you next week with additional videos.